Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like Conor yeah, McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Well, they want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. A oh, little single collar tie there. He's driving the back of the head. 
pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. He blocks the punch. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Big and kick. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now, that can't feel good. So just over 20 total strikes. Have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that right hand is on point. Gets the elbow up into the target. Three minutes in our opening round. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put it in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, a nice straight there by McGregor. Right hand upstairs. McGregor gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. And that one certainly found the target. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Two minutes remain in the round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Trying to kick the leg out. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Nice punch by McGregor. Single collar tie now. Throwing that jab, no good. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Straight left counter finds the charts. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many elbows. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you land one that's going to shut everything down. Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Starting to 
power to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. There's no give on that leg kick. Knee to the body, got it up, but didn't get it to the target. Blocked there by Connor. Beautiful body kick. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Out of range with that kick attempt. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. It up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. The body kick is blocked. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on his play. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, big head kick. And he landed the right hand there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pull counters after blocking shot. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're going to be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Oh, big punch lands. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well placed kick there by McGregor. Way to hide that leg kick. Right on the button. Oh, and he continues to pour it off. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice. All right, that's the end of round number two. Oh, the round is over, and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much, and 
given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, big head can land. Nice punch there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch land. Ooh. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, there comes the high kick. And you're in a lot of trouble. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Muay Thai club. Big kick lands. Squash knees to the body. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent's Right head. at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, good kicks there. Slips the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Big body kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. <laughs> nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice defense there, huge block. McGregor's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek and it's only getting worse. All right, he closes the distance.
distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Fifteen seconds. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round. But he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that you're chinning. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Sneaky head kick. Looked like he was in range. Whoa! He's in trouble. Reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Good punch land. And now he's got the tight punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's getting lit up Whoa! right now, John. Back to the feet. Point strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the no There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. There. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure.